disbelief about the whole thing. It is theatre. But it's played out in the real world with real consequences. The Golden Coach is designed to engender a binding sense of nationhood with a monarch cast as the lead player. While spectacular tapestries create a backdrop against which a king can build a dynasty. A glittering silver table provides a prop for a sovereign. And a grand palace, the set in which a king can play a political role. But it is the regal costume that receives the standing ovation. People will queue for hours to see the crown jewels because they want to believe in the magnificence of the monarchy just as much as the monarchy wants to play the part. And it is that willingness for each party to play their role which is at the core of a successful monarchy. After all, we all love a magnificent show. In next week's programme, I'll be putting on my safari suit to look at the monarchy and the empire. If it's gone and the thread spun by Gandhi himself. How it won it, how it lost it. It looks like a bit of kindling, wood, doesn't it's it? It's something you get the fire going with. Exactly that. And what happened along the way? It is a shard of wood that was taken from the coffin of George Washington, the first president of the United States. Monarchy was presented by Will Gombert and produced by Paul Kobrak, Sarah Taylor and Neil George. BBC World Service. Japan's birth rate is falling, but dog ownership is on the rise. What's the connection? And why might it have serious long-term consequences for the country? The dog just love, love, love dogs, just like they are children. It's really good things to having dogs if you don't have babies. I'm Roland Burke in Tokyo. I'll be meeting the city's dog lovers, finding out why many prefer pets to parenthood, why they love lavishing their dogs with luxuries, and what it all tells us about Japanese society today. I think it kind of makes sense to having dogs or pets instead of even having babies. Your world. It's a dog's life. Saturday at midday on BBC World Service. If you missed an edition of Outlook or want to hear one of those extraordinary personal stories again, listen online or subscribe to our podcast at bbcworldservice.com slash Outlook. BBC, BBC, you're with the BBC. Coming up on Outlook, after the news, I'm going to the top of the tallest building in Western Europe. It's called the Shard and it's being finished at the moment here in London. It's a bit of a challenge for me because I'm absolutely terrified of heights. But don't worry, I brought a doctor with me to take me up to the top of the building. So I'll be donning my hard hat and boots on Outlook after the news. BBC News with Stuart McIntosh. The White House has said the US has dealt a 